Hey what's going on guys, Tessie Bertie here and welcome back to another Minecraft modding tutorial for version 1.15 slash 1.14. In this one we're going to be going over, um, it's just going to be a very simple tutorial on uh, block drops um, as we didn't cover that in the uh, block tutorial. It's something I forgot to cover um, and it's very simple to do um, so let's get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do uh, is go into source main resources and we're going to create a new package and we're going to call this data.tutorialmod so data.yourmodid.loot underscore tables dot blocks and just go ahead and hit enter and then inside of here you want a new untitled text file and in here you're just going to want to copy what's from the description which is this and if I just give that uh, actually I'll go for it first so first it is stating the type which obviously is a block we want it to be a block drop um, and then the pools so that's basically the things um, that it can drop so the different uh, things so rolls one so how many times it will do it um, and entries is what it's going to actually drop so the type i want is an item um, where it's actually a block but we class that as an item here and then the name is uh, the registry name of our block or the block that we want to drop so obviously here we could put um, minecraft sand if we wanted to obviously I don't want that I just want um, our normal block and then if you save that we can go to uh, here main uh, resources data tutorial mod loot tables blocks and we're going to want to name this the name of your block so mine is example underscore block dot json hit ok and then um, actually I will show you how you can have multiple uh, different things drop so if I put a comma after this um, uh, triangle bracket right there if I put a comma and do another one so another two actually and inside here we're going to want type so I suppose let's get this to, to the same indent so type and once again we want minecraft colon item and then name so in here we want name and i just want minecraft colon uh sand um i think you can also do count i'm not sure but I think you can then do another one and do count and that would be an integer so like five um, you can actually check that so I'm just going to show you how to check this so if you go uh, down in your package explorer and you find referenced libraries and then you go client extra you can go into data minecraft loot tables blocks and then these are all the normal uh, block loot tables so let's think what has a chance of dropping multiple things so um, let's think we could do like wheat so uh, if we go down it's gonna be like all the way at the bottom to wheat we can see there's multiple different things here so yeah these have like conditions so you can have a condition of what age it is and whatever um, obviously that's an option ah here you go so oh okay it's slightly complex then by the looks of it so it's not quite as simple as you know because it has these so if you add a function like that so if we just take that 
and instead of that we want a function so let's take that out and after type we're going to want that and then we can see first thing first is the actual function which is going to be apply bonus and um, the enchantment enchantment that it will work on is fortune uh, the formula is a uh, minecraft binomial with bonus count I don't know what that is but uh, it's just probably a formula to work out uh, the bonus and whatnot extra I'm just gonna say extra is two and here's the probability and they've set it to a very exact number um, so I'm also gonna set it to a very exact number that I'm also gonna make up so like um, I don't know There you go. Um, and they put the rolls as 1.0. So I will just do that as well. Because why not? And yeah, I think that should work fine. So yeah, now we can actually close that. So yeah, just like that. Let's just go up. We can close this. Oh, and if you want to see the Minecraft code, I don't know if I've shown this, but if you go into reference libraries, uh, the top one, um, this has the render engine in com.mojang, assets.forge, they're the forge assets, uh, data is the forge data, MCP is just the, um, you know, uh, Minecraft coder uh, pack, and then you've got net Minecraft, and you've got net Minecraft forge, where you can just look at Minecraft code in there, and whatnot. I don't know if I've shown that before, but there's also this one as well, which is just net.minecraft, and that's like ASM and stuff. We'll go over ASM and stuff in the future, um, but not right now. We, we want to leave that for a while. So now if we uh, run the game, make sure we've got that selected, and we can test it out. So I will see you guys in the game. All right, so guys, we are now in the game, and if I place my block down and we break it, we see uh, we got sand that time. Uh, if I break it again, we got block back that time. Break it, we got a block. Get a block. You can get a block and sand. I have had that happen. Um, I think maybe the probability is actually inverted. So when you put like a high probability, I think what it does is. Uh, you know, it gives you like you know, a low amount. I think that's how it seems to be working. Because yeah, it's just my testing. Um, but yeah, I mean that's it really. Um, there's nothing much more to a loot table uh, for blocks. So yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, please do be sure to smash your face into that like button and go ahead and subscribe as well. Because why not? Um, we just hit 400 subscribers, so thank you all for that. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys in the next video, which will be, um, I think it will probably be custom block models. So yeah, I will see you guys then. Goodbye.